I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and uh, I, I, part of what I do is I work on uh, old, old pianos. I really enjoy that a lot. I, I enjoy these pianos, don't get me wrong. These, are, these sound wonderful and extremely satisfying when I'm through. However, I also get a big kick out of taking 100-year-old instruments and, and totally refurbishing them. I really, I really find a lot of satisfaction in doing that. And what I want to show you right now is at the beginning of my refurbishing checklist, I clean the piano. I totally take it all apart and clean it. So what you're going to see, I'm going to pull the action out, I'm going to take it outside, and you're going to see a huge plume of dust. Who knows how many decades of dust in there. So, so follow me. And this is, this is just the, the first step of, of many in the checklist. This is kind of my, my old piano storage area back here. This is a beautiful old piano, about 100 years old. Wellington is the brand, and you can see the, this beautiful front, front cover. Of course, the sheet music goes right there. So really, it will be a beautiful piano. But uh, this, is, this is very raw. This is what I start with. Um, I took this apart just, just before I started this video, so you could kind of uh, see what I see what I see when I open up the piano. So here's the action. This is the guts. This is the kind of the engine of the piano. So this is step number one. I take it, take the action outside. Pretty dirty piano. I mean, it's, I've seen a lot worse. I've seen, I've seen as much as like a, an eighth of an inch, where you could literally peel it up. Uh, but you know, this one is. This one will probably have a good plume. shake it out. Usually there's pennies and bobby pins and all sorts of stuff that tumbles out of there. But uh, anyway, step number one. I hope you enjoyed this kind of unique look into, uh, into big old uprights.